now here we are with our, our new wheels installed and they're fitting pretty good got to do a little modifying on it and I've got my dash set I've got my door panel out fixing to uh, relocate this I'm gonna cut this part out and move it back two and a half inches and then uh, and then and then cut it out to where it uh, houses the dash uh, good fit on the blower dash height is perfect all this right in here will texture coat black I'll add a little more right there but clean all that up and texture coat it it'll look just like the dash the factory dash will just go slide right back in there if we ever have an issue with the dash and you can see how the interior is looking really really nice now that I've got this area done most of this other stuff's plug and play put the carpet in the seat belts in all the wiring back in it's still got antifreeze and freon in the system and uh, put the battery back in and start it back up got the end of the dash of factory fabricating these panels right here and it'll go on the end like that and then just took all the uh, Hellcat stuff and kind of cut and fit and scooted it forward and cut up the back piece and I'll kind of do I'll blend all that together somehow got the rear seat belts in still got to do the seat belt on that side but that looks pretty nice and as this is a uh, once it's all said and done, you're going down the road. That's that's what you'll be seeing right there. That blower sticking out, engine moving around. Seven, eight hundred horsepower. It's going to be pretty nice. I'm going to show you these wheels. Wheels are 11 inches wide. Tires are like 12 and a quarter inch wide. It's pretty, pretty good. We're at. This end cap and got all that dash secure. And top of this is all fitting up in there, and I'll texture coat all that black. So that factory pad will go right up under it. That turned out real nice. And then I'll show you this door panel. So I've been trying to design how I want that to receive the end of the dash, it's kind of in the door panel. so. I have made a kind of concave that and shaped all that to that so it kind of houses it about three eighths of an inch in between it and then I'll put glass over top of all that and then cut that loose and moved it back and then made the point of it all meet right here and this will all blend in. Look real nice. Just took a while to, while to figure all that out. Alright, here's the door panel and I'm fixing to do my glass overlay on the outside so I'll actually mount this on the car. Uh, it's still not completely secure because all this is still cut open and then uh, that will uh, Hold the shape of it and then I'll do layers of glass Over this now I've got this is just cardboard laid in there with uh, releasing tape on it This tape right here will release off the back of that fiberglass once I install it kind of fills that gap And then I'll do an overlay on this while it's on the mounted to the door all the way into here I got all this cut back so it'll, uh, secure to the glass. I'll be using fiberglass mat and resin same in here, I'll fill this, and then uh, once that sets up, then I can take it off and uh, pull this out from the inside. I've got it where it's just kind of taped, taped in there and sealed, and I'll pull all that tape, and then that'll give me a good place for my new glass to, to be installed. So uh, that's what it's looking like so far, and it all turned out really nice because I had to get the height of that and the height of that bend and all that in the right spot it turned out real nice so I've got your one door panel over here and uh, you can see how much I've had to cut apart so that the dash will go in here and I'm uh, adding some metal and going to form some pieces and parts to make it where the dash houses uh, the door panel houses that dash just like on your new car and then uh, this was a little long up in there so I'm cut it off and move it back and then uh, put all this back together in glass and I'll show you I got the other one together this is kind of how it's looking now the glass is clear so you can't I'll have all this painted and coated or uh, covered in the material like it's on the seats and that'll look nice and then have that insert but you can see this is now shorter I moved all that back in there and then fabricated all the s and speakers and door handle and then i've got to do my 
uh, pull handle and the insert that goes in here. Uh, so far, so good. You can see how that looks. Real strong. Got the light back in it right here that was in the uh, Hellcat. And uh, yeah, that's going to be nice. Turned out good. And I'll show you my pull handle. So my pull handle, the one that came with these door panels that you can hit is straight. It really doesn't match the style. So I want something to blend in the style of the door panel, which is styled a lot like the, the uh, Hellcat interior was. So went on with that a little bit, and I got me uh, some wood. This is some white, uh, uh, white pine, and I've got it screwed together, made it in two pieces so I can uh, cut out and do what I got to do. And then I just started sculpting uh, from the theme of this panel right here. Uh, this is what I'm fixing to cut off. Right through there is my mark, and that's how much of this one I'm going to remove for this other door panel. And I'll cut it down to, to this size. You can see uh, how much, how far I had to move, move all that. And then once I got this piece, I wanted to use some of these body lines, so I kind of drew out what this looked like, and then took this piece of wood and cut it down to uh, to make it shape like this. So and there's a lot going on. It's got to have a pull handle. It's got to have power window switches in it. It's got to have an armrest on it, and be at the height of the seat, and be able to be. Uh, wrapped or whatever we're gonna do, a lot going on. So this is, but this is what I come up with, and uh, I think it turned out pretty nice. It matches the style of the the panel and the car. It's got my controls in it. They're uh, serviceable. These will snap out, and down inside there uh, is opening the light, the little courtesy light that shines when the door opens, shines on the handle and stuff. Uh, that will be back in here as well. Good strong pull. It's got three fastening spots in it. Let's see if I can get this out. This will be wrapped. This piece here will be wrapped in leather. It's tight fit. Wrap this in leather and then gives me another fastening point inside there. Now once I get this, uh, the other one made like this, uh, also I formed a little piece of trim and did a, an insert in there. And this will be trimmed out. Uh, but now, once I get the other one made, then I'll take and I'll cut these down a little bit more, and I'll uh, wrap this in fiberglass. And ultimately, this will all be fiberglass. And then I'm gonna take it and have this top part done in a carbon fiber, just like the console is. And then it'll have this piece of trim, be like the outline of the uh, console's carbon fiber. It has a trim around it that's this, about this color. And then the bottom of this I'll have wrapped in, uh, in leather that will go up under the bottom of that. So when this thing is done, it will really look nice. So uh, just want to do a little update on that. And this is what I was talking about making it in two pieces. I can remove this screw and this screw, take this out. And then it allows me to cut all of this stuff out and uh, work with it a lot easier. Uh, when I get done with it, I'll, when I get ready to start wrapping it, I will actually glue this and make this one solid piece. Then do my, leather, my fiberglass mat on the outside of it, and then I can do the rest of the, uh, the uh, carbon fiber. The carbon fiber, I actually have this dipped. They'll do an image of what the console looks like, then they'll dip the whole thing, and this will look like carbon fiber, and then this part here will be the wrapped leather to match the, the seats and the console. So I thought that turned out pretty nice. Pretty nice. Looks good in the car. Sets good in the car. There it is. And I've about got the armrest finished up, and I've got it all laid there on the table. And I want to give you a look at uh, how uh, what all's involved in these armrests. Uh, Lots of pieces. I started with two uh, two by fours, uh, white pine, and then uh, I've had them screwed together and been working them back and forth. And you can see how how that's going to look all together. And inside here, I've got my light that lights up the uh, release handle. Uh, supports in there that will bolt inside of here. Like that. Support that. These will be wrapped in leather to hide that. Carbon fiber on top. It switches. But yeah, that's a that's looking pretty good. Now I'm fixing to finish them all up. Move on. Now that I got most of the handrest, the uh, armrest laid out, I want to show you some of the support system that I'm putting inside of it. So uh, inside here, 
where your arm is going to sit on this the most, I, I fabricate a metal plate that will be two-part bond adhesive in here and will be bolted and sandwich all that up in there when it's bolted to the door. So this plate uh, will insert from the bottom. It'll be two-part bond adhesive in place. That's a, a whole lifting support of that armrest right there. And then uh, once it's glued in place, then the bottom piece will be glued on place. It'll have about three uh, screws that will stay inside of it, along with the wood glue, the bonding glue, and, uh, and all. And that will be pretty strong right there, I would say, because it's got to be able to hold the weight of your body as you move yourself and reposition yourself in the seat. So uh, if you notice when you ride around in your car and say you move yourself around the seat, you'll see how much force you put on that armrest to, to support yourself as you move around. So. Uh, I'm going to put as much support in this thing as I can. Then once it's all together, then it'll actually have glass around it with woven mat that'll make it even stronger. Then, uh, then where the uh, pull is, where you're going to be pulling on this, I'm installing another support of metal in there, and it will glue in place. So it will actually be have two screws in there, two-part bonding adhesive, uh, then countersunk screw right here where that will... Uh, uh, I'll go in, in place and then I'll have another one in the end here that will do the same. So I'll have a support bolt to sandwich in here, sandwich in here, screwed here, screwed here, support plate here, bond adhesive, then all glued together, then wrapped in glass and, uh, and that should be pretty strong. I'm just using this white pine. It's real light, easy to form as a core inside here. So. Uh, uh, yeah, I just want to give you an update of how that's looking and how that's working out. So, uh, and then once once all this is done, then I'll have this plate, which will be wrapped in leather. So this will be a carbon fiber look, and then this will be wrapped in the black leather interior. And then this will insert down over that to cap that so you won't, won't see that. Um, it's going to look really good when I get done with this. That is where it's uh, all, it's glued together screwed in here together and then uh, the two-part bonding adhesive in all of those and then clamped in place and did all that at one time clamped it in place and this has been curing for a couple of few hours now and then I'll clean all that up you know and eventually put glass on it and that one the same way that one's been sitting for almost 24 hours and I clamped it all up and it's all locked down glued screwed and, and ready for a uh, prep for the glass and then also in here I've got the headliner out of the Hellcat. Uh, I'm just going to see how close it would fit. And it does extremely, extremely well. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with this. I've already got my uh, visors in and uh, where they work and light up and overhead light. Every, everything about the headliner plugs right back into the factory wiring harness with the camera that, uh, or the detector to pick up the oncoming lights and dim your lights. Uh, the windshield will have automatic wipers to take the rain. Uh, it'll have every creature comfort of the third brake light of the Hellcat. So, uh, yeah, these are turning out very nice. You can see I've got all this made now, and I fabricate these end panels and cut the end of the dash. Uh, well, I actually cut it up here, and I mean, it's just tons and tons and tons of stuff. Um, made all that door panel in the front and relocated this back. And it looks pretty good now, but the door handles that the, the door pull, pulls that you could get just didn't look near as nice as these. When that's all done, that top's carbon fiber and the leather and all, really gonna be nice.